AI or artificial intelligence is a very growing sector these days. Like it is estimated in 2026, the AI market will be worth $69 million. And AI is built to help humanity and offer it services that can be beneficial. So today, we'll check out AI websites that can be helpful for you. The first website is called Writer. And Writer is an AI writing assistant that helps you create high quality content. So let's press on Start Writing. Basically, this is the interface. First, you can select your language. I'll choose English, but there is multiple language over here. Next, you can select the tone, which could be funny, strict, worried, casual, and so on. Default is casual, but if you press on the arrow button, you'll see that there's a lot of options to choose. Next, you'll choose the use case, or let's say the type of the document. Mine will be a block section writing, but if you press on the arrow button, you can see that you have a lot of options to choose, so make sure to choose the option that suits you well. Next, we need to give AI some information, like the section topic. And there's an example over here, like role of AI writers in the future of copywriting. I'll add my own phrase. So let's say I'm writing a blog about AI. I'll say something like the advantages of AI and how can it influence the world and change it to a better place. So this is the phrase and right now let's go and add the keywords. Of course, the first cue that will come into my head is AI. Next, I'm going to write artificial intelligence. Now, I'm going to write machine learning. Right now, let's say I'm going to say programming. And right now, let's say future technology. Okay, let's say these are my keywords. Next, we have the number of variants. And the number of variants, let's say, is the number of results that you will get. If you choose one variant, you will get one result. Right now I have chosen 3, that means I need to get 3 results. Next we have the creativity level. You can choose whatever you want, but I'm gonna keep it high. Right now, let's press on write for me. And as you can see we have 3 results right over here. And let's read it, AI has a lot of advantages. It will change the way we live and work. This is the first variant, let's see the second one. With AI and machine learning we are able to make progress in terms of various industries such as health, banking, education and more. Nice. And this is the variant 3, there are a lot of benefits that artificial intelligence provides to the world and people. So as you can see, AI generated for me the content I want. And this is a very powerful tool. Now as you remember, I choose my use case as block section. But make sure to go ahead and play around with the other options. Right now, let's go to the second AI website. This is an AI game by Google, where it will ask you to draw something and it will start giving guesses about what it see from your drawing. So, let's go ahead and press on the let's draw button. It's asking me to draw a candle. Now, I want to test it and see what it can do. So instead, I'm not gonna draw a candle, I'm gonna draw a circle. Let's see if it can guess it. Let's see, I'm gonna draw a circle. Okay, let's see, I'm gonna draw a square. Will it guess it? It guessed it. Now it's asking me to draw a pencil. Now I don't know how to draw a pencil. I'm gonna draw something else, I'm gonna draw a van. Let's see if it will guess it. I'm gonna add some tires. Toothpaste, what? Aha, uh -huh. now it guessed it. Let me draw a race car. Ah, uh, I'm running out of time. Like this, like this, like this. Okay, now. Nah. And so there it is. This is the quick draw by Google, which will allow you to draw and AI will guess what you are drawing. Make sure to go ahead and mess around with it. And right now we need to move on to the second or the third AI website. Next we have Big Speak AI and it is a free text to speech website where you will type a text right over here and it will generate for you the audio. But first you need to choose the voice by pressing on this arrow button you can choose multiple options. Next you can choose either text or SSML and then we have the optional input where you'll input your email and they will send you new features and launches via email. But now I'm gonna go ahead and enter a text. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use writer and copy this phrase right over here. Right now let me go back and let me paste it right over here. I'm gonna choose different voice, let's say UK male voice and right now I'm gonna say I'm not a robot and generate the audio. Okay so there it is, you can play it right now. With AI and machine learning, we are able to make progress in terms of various... And so this is it, this is the audio and of course you can download the audio by pressing on the download button. And this is the file size, so it is very small, 30 kilobytes. Or you can go ahead and generate another voice file by pressing on this button. So yeah, this is basically big speak. It will allow you to translate text to speech. And right now, let's go ahead to the fourth AI website. 
The next AI website is the Image Enlarger AI website. So basically you need to create an account here, but before you do that, let's dive into this website and what it can do. So basically, we have a lot of functionalities in this website. You can choose them right over here by scrolling down. And as you can see, there's a lot of options to choose. Now, I really want to choose the AI background removal. As you can see, we can use this cursor to see before and after. So this is the before and this is the after without the background. So let us try it out. Right now, I need to select an image. So I'm going to press on select image and I'm going to choose this PNG image. Right now, I'm going to press on start. And now, and now let's press on download. And look at this, it took off the background with just only one click. Now there's some errors over here, but that's not a problem because the background was removed and that is pretty good. Now let's go ahead and choose some other options. Basically, I'm gonna scroll down and look at this. We have multiple options to choose. Let me choose this AI sharpener. Let's see or test it. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna select an image. I'm gonna select the same image, this one and open. Of course, let us press on start. And there it is, the image got downloaded and as you can see, it got an increase in size and it got a bit sharper as you can see right over here and here. So yeah, this is the AI image sharpener, let's say. And of course, make sure to go ahead and use whatever you want in these functionalities, test them and have fun with them. Now let's go to the fifth AI website. Next, we have the magic eraser website. As its names refer, it is a magic eraser which will delete anything you want. So let's go ahead and press on this button and choose the same image. And right now, I'm gonna go ahead and delete this external hard drive. So I'm gonna draw around it. I'm drawing a pattern so AI will know what to delete. Right now, I'm gonna decrease the brush size down here. I'm gonna zoom in a bit. And let me go ahead and take off. Now nah, that's too small. I'm gonna increase it a bit, okay. Okay, let us try it out. So when you finish, Press on the erase button. And look at that, the magic eraser is really a magic eraser. Now there's some errors over here, I'm gonna redo the same process, like this, and there's also right over here, like this. And now I'm gonna repress on the erase button. And look at that, that is even better than before. So we've just deleted or erased the external hard drive. Now this is pretty cool. Of course, if you want to go back, just press on the new image and drag and drop a new image if you want. So this is the Magic Eraser website. Right now let's go to the last AI website which is talk to books This is talk to books AI website by Google, where you'll input let's say a question and AI will give you an answer based on a section inside a book. So let's say I'm gonna ask AI what means programming. And let me hit enter. As you can see AI will search a book and give me a specified section inside the book for the definition of programming. So let us scroll down and look at this. Programming is the act and practice of writing code that tells the computer what to do. So basically how AI answered to me is by searching for this section inside this book. Of course you can press on view in book so you can see inside the book. But right now let me go ahead and say instead of what means programming, I'm gonna say what means machine learning. And as you can see, we have machine learning explores the construction and study of algorithms that can learn from and make prediction on data. So basically, Google will give me a part of a book that answers my question. So how cool is that? All right, this is it on the six AI websites that are pretty amazing to know and use. And of course, don't forget to check out the description because I've added links to each of these websites. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed tech related videos, make sure to subscribe right now to my channel. Now AI is one hell of a mind blowing field, right? But there is six more, check them out inside this video. But maybe you like riddles and want to challenge yourself. Check out this video about the 13 programming riddles and let us see if you can get a golden star.